Pyramids and Pythagorean Theorem. So a way to complicate finding the volume or surface area of a pyramid is if you're not given the correct height. So recall that for the volume of a pyramid, we needed the regular height, the height of the pyramid, which we called h. To find the surface area of a pyramid, remember that we needed the height of one of the triangle sides, which we called the slant height, or the L. So if I'm given a problem where I'm given the slant height and I need to find the volume, I'm sort of stuck. And the same thing is if I'm given the regular height and I need to find the surface area. Again, I'm stuck. So that's where Pythagorean Theorem comes into play. Pythagorean Theorem is a great theorem because it tells us a relationship between the sides of a right triangle. It uses the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is a true relationship between the sides of a right triangle. So in a pyramid, we actually form a right triangle. If you take a look here, I'm going to draw a right triangle that is formed in a pyramid and then redraw it outside the pyramid. This right triangle is going to be really helpful to us because it's going to give us a relationship between the height of the pyramid and the slant height of the pyramid. So height is this perpendicular height to the bottom of the pyramid and the slant height is the height of one of the triangles on the side or the slanted height. The base of this right triangle is just half of one of the sides of the square base. And here we could use Pythagorean theorem to find either H or L. That's really important to us. To set up Pythagorean theorem, we would just set up H squared plus 1 half S squared equals L squared. And again, this will give us a relationship between the slant height and the regular height. And we will need that relationship because we may have to solve for one or the other before we can find the volume or surface area.